Hi teacher, good morning. Let me introduce you about a subjective test. Well, firstly, let's introduce you with a definition. In general, a subjective matter are questions that require students to answer in the form of describing, explaining, discussing, comparing, reasoning, and other similar forms in accordance with the demands of the questions by using words and language itself. Then the record test the ability of learners to generalize their ideas through written language so that the type of question is more subjectively power test. Now, the number of questions a subjective form is usually not much, only about 5 to 2 pieces of matter within approximately 90 to 120 minutes. The questions of this form require the ability of learners to be able to organize, interpret, and connect the notions that have been owned. Like in an essay test, for instance, testers must think of what to say and then express their ideas as well as possible. Now, in a, in a brief summary, or in other words, suggested test is a type of test in which the scores are influenced by the judgment of the evaluator. In this case, the evaluator will be the teacher. Uh, it is a form of questioning which may have more than one correct answer, or more than one way of expressing the correct answer. Now, let's consider some of the main features of this test. Firstly, a subjective test is evaluated by giving an opinion. Subjective tests are more challenging and expensive to prepare, administer, and evaluate correctly. Also, they can be more, mal more valid and it requires the students to produce what they know, as I said before. Well, my name is Marlon Solis and I am going to talk about the advantages of subjective type tests. First, it gives an opportunity to demonstrate knowledge, skills and abilities in different ways. It also can be used to students' writing skills. Likewise, it provides the ability to formulate arguments supported with reasoning and evidence. And finally, it minimizes guessing. On the other hand, we have some disadvantages of subjective type tests. First, limited sampling and material covered. Second, the score is extremely time consuming. Consequently, an inadequate scoring key can make the scoring subjective and sometimes it can be unreliable. A brief summary for subjective tests has lack of objectivity, lesser reliability, lesser validity, expensive in reading and scoring, and effective in small group. Objective assessment, we have decided on a speaking activity, which is for level six, basic level. Uh, the topic is a uh, role play, uh, go into the doctor in which students much, must get in groups of three and they must choose a character to represent. Uh, they have 30 to 40 minutes to prepare this activity. Rubric. The rubric has been divided in four steps. Pronunciation, mastery, organization, and creativity. As it is a subject assessment, there is no need for grammar check or spelling checks.